Hello guys, how's it going? Uh, okay, not a live stream. It's not a live stream. It's not a live stream. It's not a live stream. Okay, so what? what so what do we got going on here? Uh, earlier, I just got done making me some hamburgers to enjoy. Boon, bon appetit. I enjoyed them. Well, I attempted to make uh, stuffed hamburgers, and uh, yeah, I attempted cooking hamburgers in this wonderful little thing but however um well i like the idea but however another thing to keep in mind around here is that when it comes to the grease and then you flip it the grease flakes out and then we're, we're in for a fucking treat so the next thing you have to know is when you're cooking the burger you go ahead and do this stuff and you have to be careful with how how big the burger is because if it gets too big to fit in this thing you're gonna have problems it, it's uh, it's a common flaw. If the if the damn thing was bigger, it would be easy. But maybe if I get a hold of the the actual red copper pans, that's that's gonna work out well. So, yeah, that that's that's one thing to start learning. How's it going? Let's do a news video because I want to go ahead and have my comments on what has happened in the world of the gaming industry and the world of, of, of life and, and how things completely work and I'm trying to do a video. I'm trying to do a video. Basically how this new show work here is that I basically go through the news articles that we all miss while uh, well, I've been doing different things for the YouTube channel and then basically uh, giving out my input and putting things out around here. Uh, just like everybody. Hello, guys. Uh, wait, I already got that deja vu for like, what, What's going on with me? I, 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 just, I just gave you deja vu. I am so sorry about this. My bad. Anyway, uh, this happened a while ago, and this article comes from the guys over at Gamatsu.com. So apparently there was a Sony Investor Relations Day 2018 presentation that was going down on this on this Sony Investor Relations Day thing. And basically, so Mr. John Codera, the, the CEO of PlayStation, was opening a discussion about what's going on with the with the Sony products, including the PlayStation, and went through a lot of things with the PlayStation Plus and PlayStation VR, in which you know, we're we're gonna we're gonna cover on VR headsets real quick. Like PlayStation VR, like the Oculus Rift, like HTC Vive. Give us more VR anime waifus. Give us more VR anime waifus. VR anime waifus, people. More VR anime waifus. All right, that's that's definitely gonna get headsets selling some more. Okay, now let's keep on going. The biggest controversy that has uh, went down at that presentation event, where everybody was freaking out, is that. Uh, the, the CEO had started off by saying about how the PlayStation 4 is entering the end of its life cycle. And, of course, uh, this has led to multiple people speculating about a PlayStation 5 reveal on 2018 and 2019. We're going to be... Okay. This has led to people speculating about the PlayStation 5 happening either 2018 or 2019, but there's going to be a PlayStation 5 announced really soon and however that that doesn't mean that oh the playstation 4 is we're, we're hitting that we're hitting a new generation of consoles already oh man oh look guess what's gonna happen oh look there's the playstation 5 and then 2000 and then 2019 oh the xbox 2 or whatever the new xbox thing i, I if it's like rich overview tech usa was saying, and really basically be honest with you here, everybody else in the comments was like, hey, you're fucking over-exaggerating this shit for a bit. That doesn't mean we're going to see a PlayStation 5 either 2018 or 2019. But 2020, maybe. Uh, 2021, definitely. Just like Rich of Review Tech USA predicted, really, to be honest with you, I, 2020, that would make total sense, but 2021, alright, that's really good. And, however, it, it does seem kind of weird. Well, let's just let's just be honest here. Uh, this generation was actually pretty much rushed. 
And uh, when the Wii U happened, you got to remember that the Wii U created a domino effect that led to the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One back in 2013. Okay, so there was the Wii U that happened in 2012. Oh, Nintendo released a new console, and Nintendo fucked up on the Wii U. And however, not only that, this... Nintendo's little fuck-up created a domino effect that led to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One that happened fall of 2013. So, yes, and that has led to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One specs being, like, really over... well, not overpowered, but underpowered heavily real fast. So, as a result, there was PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox One X. And another thing to keep in mind here is that when we're talking about uh, gaming PCs, yes, gaming on Windows, Windows 10, which is basically why the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One happen. I mean, we're talking about stuff like the uh, PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One X happening the very minute the GTX 1000 series, or the GTX 1000 series. There was the GTX 1060s, the 1070s, the 1080s, the, the, the 1080 Ti's, and the 10 series, boom. Then, this just went, woo! And yeah, you got, and that's what was pretty much like, and then the next thing you know, yeah, gaming PC started evolving, 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 and started overpowering over PlayStation 4 and Xbox One really fast. So, it was basically Sony and Microsoft playing catch-up, or their dicks fried. And if we can talk about the irony of things, when it comes to console-exclusive titles like Hyper Dimension Neptunia or Mega Dimension Neptunia Victory 2, and we have Fate Extella. They would come out console exclusive, and then later, oh, a PC version has been announced. And hey, Fate Extella and Mega Dimension Neptunia V2 is out now on Steam. I'm predicting uh, Mega Dimension uh, Neptunia V2R coming out on Steam with Oculus Rift support later. Well, that modifies the the, the viewpoint of, uh, let's see if the 20 series happens. If the 20 series happens, I think definitely we're, we're going to be seeing the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox 2 right around the fucking corner. Okay, so let's get on going to the next story, and it is coming from Anime News Network, ladies and gentlemen, and it is going to be about the Yakuza series. And of course, we have the latest being Yakuza 6. There was the prequel, Yakuza 0. And, however, there was Yakuza 1 Kiwami, Yakuza 2 Kiwami. And then, the next thing you know, everybody's wondering, okay, after this, um, what about the people who missed out on Yakuza 3? And I fucking knew it! I fucking knew it was gonna happen! I really fucking knew it. Guess what? Yakuza 3, 4, and 5 is happening, ladies and gentlemen. So, yes, that's right. People, and let's be honest with you here, uh, Yakuza 3, 4, and 5 being remastered for the PlayStation 4, it's not going to be really that big of a deal. I don't really find it that big of a deal. Some people are going to have some gripes about it, but really at the same time, this is a niche franchise from Sega. And not only that, this is a franchise by Sega that's not fucking Sonic. At least Sonic Mania was re was really good. And then, peop and then the uh, next thing you know, Sonic Forces happened. And then, and then there is the Sonic Mania Plus, which is basically Sonic Mania. We're we're really sorry about Sonic Forces Edition. That's that's what I'm basically gonna call it. Sonic Mania. We're really sorry about Sonic Forces Edition. Well. And, hey, at least we can. At least we have the Yakuza series and Yakuza's three, four, and five. So that way, uh, we don't have to play Sega IPs that don't involve a blue fucking hedgehog. So starting August nine, the Yakuza three, four, and five are gonna get brought from PS3 to PS4, 
and uh, they're going to get remastered with enhancements like for example 1080p at 60 frames per second and uh, make sure everything like fits into the game file or fits into the Blu-ray. So if you have to do it, make a separate patch. Just make make sure the Yakuza 3 remastered when localized includes, includes everything. Includes is what the hell? Includes. Now, now I'm making fucking grammar errors. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, just, just make sure that everything is included, especially in the Japanese version. That means don't skip out on the on the dating aspect or the hostess dating aspect or whatever you had don't don't cut content all right because you have the PlayStation 4 and you have more space more capacity all right I'm just getting that out there and also uh, get us more Puyo Puyo uh, make sure Shenmue 3 happens and uh, make sure we don't see that FUCKING BLUE HEDGEHOG EVER AGAIN AFTER SONIC MANIA PLUS! FOR THE LOVE OF FUCKING GOD, LET HIM FUCKING REST! LET HIM FUCKING REST! Sincerest, uh, sincerest of apologies here. Let's get right on going to the next, uh, news story. Okay, now we're gonna be talking about the Steam Link app, and ladies and gentlemen, it is from the guys over at, I need to go look at the site link, for reference, siliconera.com, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, link from siliconera.com leading to an article by the guys over at siliconera.com talking about the Steam Link. And what is the Steam Link? The Steam Link is the uh, is this app that gives people the ability to basically uh, stream and play their PC games on Steam on their mobile phones via iOS and Android. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Uh, Android. Let's talk about the iOS version. So apparently due to quote-unquote business conflicts, Apple has basically decided to now reject the Steam Link from happening in the iOS App Store, meaning that iOS users will not be able to touch on the Steam Link app. So iOS users, iPhone users, iPad users are not going to be able to have the ability to live stream their Steam games and play them on the go due to quote unquote business conflicts as stated by Apple. What the fuck does that fucking mean, Apple? What does it mean, Apple? What does it mean? Oh, what does that mean? Oh, are you freaking out because Steam is mainly used on Windows OSs and Steam used to work on Macs? Huh? But then that, that Mac thing dropped out and everybody started going to, to Windows? Huh? 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 Oh! Oh! oh. Oh, what's going on? Or because because uh, what what's what's uh, what's, what, what what are you attempting? Are you attempting competition? I, I I don't I don't even know what you're out to. Do people like make like Mac versions of fucking Steam games anymore? I, I'm wondering about that. Well, guess what? Android's still getting the Steam Link app, and uh, you know what? People are going to go from iPhone to either Samsung Galaxy or any other Android phone, and they're going to be like, oh, hey, we've got Samsung Galaxy or any other Android phone. Everybody's going to be jumping in and be like, hey, I'm going to party along with you guys. I'm joining you guys. Yeah, Android party. Yeah, Android, Android users party. Oh, yeah, Android users party. Android users party. Android users, but you, 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 you're seeing that Apple? You, you, you're, you're, you're seeing this future Apple? You're seeing this future Apple? This, this is the future that you have, uh, that you have started to create by basically just, uh, now all of a sudden, hey, Steam Link, don't come to the fucking Apple, uh, iOS store, because, uh, we have business conflicts with you. Yeah, stay the fuck away. Yeah, you know, you know, doing that is is definitely going to get more and more uh, iPhone users to Android, or or everybody's just going to. You, 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 
yeah, guess what? I mean, Samsung's gonna have your fucking throat. Samsung's really gonna have your throat in the very minute they fucking find out. I, I really hope Samsung does a commercial calling you out on, on your business conflicts bullshit with the Steam Link. So what's your next innovation? R removing the USB port? Removing the USB port? And, uh, so that way people are gonna have to struggle and figure out a way of, of charging their iPhones? Huh? 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 Y you have no idea what the fuck you're thinking, Apple. You're, you, you, you're, you're trying to do something revolutionary. It's ridiculous. Really, it's getting really, really fucking ridiculous. Just, just, just stop, Apple. Also, coming from the guys over at Gematsu.com, they have gotten a hold of it, they have reported of it. However, Nipponichi Software of America has confirmed officially that the cult classic Suda51 title, Killer7, before No More Heroes, there was Killer7 that happened on the PlayStation 2 and Xbox and Game... Well, actually, hold up for a minute. No, PlayStation 2 and GameCube. Scratch that. Okay, PlayStation 2, GameCube, Killer7 happened. Well, guess what? It's gonna happen on PC via Steam fall of 2018. Fall of 2018, Killer7. One of the very first Suda51 titles. And a cult classic at that, so... Fun! <laughs> Woo! That about discusses, uh... All the news articles that I really wish to comment on. I know I would want to comment on the situation with uh, Steam versus the the waifus. But however, this whole thing was the reason why the devil of entertainment got really pissed off. The way he was and uh, just like what we saw. It, it really wasn't pretty. Uh, it, it was a shitty week last week, okay? So, yeah. But, however, if you want to join me, we'll, we'll do some fun activities together. Some random activities. Alright, never mind. Um, that's all. I'll see you in the next video, because the battery's really low. Well, we'll do something, we'll do something next time. <laughs>